Do you struggle with getting things done on time or even knowing the order of things you should tackle first? Well, you're in luck because today we are starting a two-part video series all about how to fix your prioritizing problems here on Get Organized with Jody. Hi, I'm Jody Granock. I'm a certified professional organizer with over 15 years in the field, and I love helping my clients deal with their time management issues. So today we're going to look at some challenges for getting things done on time and also in the right order. Let's start with this challenge. All my work is important. How do I decide what to do first? We'll start with this mantra. If everything is important, then nothing is important. So instead of hitting the ground, running around every day, like your hair is on fire, just going from one crisis to another, give yourself some planning time so that you can really decide what needs to be done on a daily basis. My suggestion is that you spend 15 minutes in the morning making your plan. Find a quiet, peaceful spot in your house or even when you get to work, even if it means you have to get up a little bit earlier. But if you're not a morning person, you could also try making your plan for the next day out in the evening before you go to bed. Now, please be realistic when you're making out this plan because no one ever has a perfect day. You've got to allow time for those intangible things that are going to come up. The things that we never plan for or expect, but they're part of life, like traffic jams or a surprise meeting or an unexpected phone call. If you make sure that you've padded your time to deal with these issues that will invariably pop up, you're more likely to get things done. Let's look at our second challenge. I work long hours. How do I make time to see my friends? I think it's a lot easier to see your friends when you have a scheduled activity. One suggestion is to find a common interest that you have with your friends, like cooking or dancing, and you can all sign up for a class together. Another option is to create a weekly game night, a weekly movie night, a weekly whatever night. But the point is that it's something that you actually schedule into your planner, just like any other meeting or appointment. And you're more likely to honor this when you've actually put it into your planner. I mean, let's face it, you make an appointment to see your doctor or your dentist, you pretty much go, right? Because it was in your planner. So go ahead and do the same thing and schedule some time with your friends. Challenge number three, how do I prevent procrastinating chores that I don't enjoy? Well, first of all, I mean, they are called chores for a reason. Most chores people don't like to do, but they get really difficult when we procrastinate because instead of doing a few dishes, we might have a whole sink and counter full. Or instead of doing one load of laundry, now we're behind by five or six. So we want to avoid procrastinating on chores because they do get more time consuming and complicated the longer we put them off. Personally, I'm a big fan of using TV to get my chores done. That's right. I know we all love to binge watch our TV shows these days and go from one to the next. But occasionally, I like to put on a show where there's going to be some commercial breaks. Even if they're one minute, two or three minutes, you can make a game out of what you can get done before the show comes back on. And the fun thing about it is that there's around 20 minutes of commercials within a one-hour TV show. And you may not want to spend 20 minutes doing a chore but it doesn't feel as much like doing a chore if that 20 minutes were divided up into one, two or three minute segments. So give that a try and see if it helps you tackle some chores 
while you're enjoying something else. The other thing that can help you get chores done is to have a little bit of an eye-opening experience about how long a chore actually takes. We often put off doing something because we think it'll take too long. Oh, I can't do that. It'll take 20 minutes. But if you try timing the chore and you see that, wow, it didn't take 20 minutes, it only took five minutes, then you're more likely to do it the next time without protesting about it. I encourage you to visit organizingmagic.com for more organizing resources, including our free e-newsletter and information about our monthly Zoom webinars, which are also free. And remember that new videos drop every Friday. So be in the know and click like and subscribe before you go so you never miss a single video. I'll see you next time.